Hi, how are you guys? Well, um, sorry I'm out driving this morning. I know some of you guys are like, why are you going outside? Uh, maybe none of you guys are doing that because you're young and exciting and vibrant and not afraid of anything. Um, I am actually going outside because I've been inside for three days. I need some refill. And I'm going to go to Walmart before everybody who's dying of some thing shows up. Most, uh, Mostly the senior citizens hit that Walmart at about 11. So I wanted to get there before then. And I figured I would uh, address uh, some of the questions you guys have asked me in the survey. And the course, first question is, could you guys be available for a live stream uh, session during the usual class times on Friday, March the 19th? So, live streaming. We were all thinking about, well, how are we going to teach our classes? And we were talking about it in um, the Facebook groups that we have, that we created for each other, you know, to support all the other GTAs. And... The first thing that popped up is how would we do a live stream? Would we do a live stream? Is that necessary? And so we talked about it and we all came up with different plans and it turned, then we discovered after we got some emails from people that uh, there's actually something in place through Canvas, uh, it's called WebEx, uh, developed by Cisco, um, that can be used for live streaming. And so I, we're, oh, all right, fine. So I set up my WebEx account. And WebEx is interesting because you could use it on a tablet. You can use it on a cell phone. You could use it at a regular computer, whatever. The, the trick with WebEx is you have to have pretty stinking good Wi-Fi. And so that was why that question, you know, would you, you know, do you have access to good Wi-Fi? And to me, that was a, an important question as well, because where I live, the Wi-Fi isn't necessarily very good. Uh, in fact, sometimes the Wi-Fi just stinks. So that's the question. And so the answer was 86% of you said, yes, you have access to Wi-Fi, that you could attend a live stream. Well, you, had, you could attend a live stream on March the 19th during regular class time. And so, but because of the you know, you have to have pretty good Wi-Fi, I was a little concerned. So 86% said yes, and then 14% said no. Now, this is just out of the people that have responded to this survey so far. So today it's Saturday morning. Uh, I have no idea what day it is. Um, and, by, and I checked all the answers this morning when I woke up. And so, you know, that's the numbers. It's not everybody, but it's enough that we can say, okay, we can start spotting the trends. So the next one is, um, is it going to be hard for you to keep up with classwork when this becomes an online class? And so the first part, you know, part the first part is A, I have access to a computer, good Wi-Fi, and a quiet workspace to study in. Now, those are all three aspects of being a university student um, in the 21st century. All right, so the answer is 45% of you could answer yes to that, that you have access to a computer, Wi-Fi, and a quiet workspace. Now, I don't know the breakdown of that, but I'm taking that to mean all three of those might be a problem, okay? And for various reasons. Some of you have siblings, some of you gone home, some of you might have really crappy living conditions. I know at different parts in my life, I did. I mean, couch surfing sucks. I did that for a long time. So yeah, it's rough. Um, is it sometimes hard to work at home? And 50% of you said yes, that is sometimes hard to work at home. And I get that. And then the other one, is it, always, is it hard to work at home? And only 5% of you said that it was hard for you to work at home. So that's not so bad but that's bad enough. Okay, so question number three, how do you feel about taking this class online? And 9% of you felt positive. 77% of you felt eh, neutral. And 9% of you felt negative. So, okay. 
Some of you are going like, yay, I can do it online. I don't have to go to class and be around humans. And most of you are going like, eh, whatever. And then 1% of you is like, oh, gosh, no, I don't want to do anything digital. I get that. Uh, and then I ask you, do you have access to the following? So the emerging textbook, 73% of you said you have access to it. So that means the other 17% of you don't. So I, I kind of thought that would be a problem. I mean, who the hell takes their textbooks with them to spring break? I get that. Um, which means 73% of you are as nerdy as I am that you did take your textbooks. When I went to San Antonio, I took everything. And I did quite a bit of homework, which was nice. And a little bit of grading. I'm sure you guys noticed that some grading got done during that time. Elements. 77% of you have access to the Elements book. So that's, that's even better than with Emerging. Uh, the Pocket Handbook. 77% of you have access to the Pocket Handbook. And then 86% of you have access to your papers. So not everybody has access to their papers. That's fine. I have access to all of your papers. So I can... Uh, email you access to all of your papers. Oh, look, the 7-Eleven is open. Yay, I can get me a soda pop. All right, going into the Domino's parking lot. And then I'm going to scoot over to that dirty old 7-Eleven where I get my soda. Just got me some liquid personality. Hmm. The only problem is drinking that stuff will make me burp while I'm making this video. Oh well, life's hard, I guess. Anyway, so regarding those results, most of those were fairly predictable. I totally understand, um, you know, how, the situations. It's it's all good. Um, now I'm off to Walmart. Now at Walmart, I only have to get a couple things. See, I already have some of this, the Purell's. Um, uh, and then I have the big giant one at home, which is nice, which I got gosh, quite a while ago. But um, I did get the little ones here for the car right when they said, hey, make sure and keep your hands clean during this, uh, this crisis. And I was like, okie doke. Let's get back to Wi-Fi real quick. So regarding Wi-Fi and live streaming. The issue with WebEx is it does take a lot of Wi-Fi and I am interested in doing it. However, because not everybody has access to good Wi-Fi and that you might only be able to use your cell phones. Um, I was thinking about a couple of other options. Now I have used uh, uh, quite a few other options um, when I play video games. So I don't play video games very much anymore. I'm too busy. Um, and I definitely don't play the big giant team-based video games right now where you have, you know, like World of Warcraft or Star Wars or any of those bullcrap games or LOL or whatever. I just don't have time to get on and play those. But... Um, when I did play those, we used Discord or Mumble. Sometimes we use Skype. Like when I played LOL, I used Skype for that. And, um, and then I also hang out with some friends on Roll20, which is a nerd gathering spy place online. Some of you will know what it is, which of course it says that you're a nerd. Just admit it. Anyway, so I was thinking we could use Discord. Discord doesn't take a lot of bandwidth. And you could download the app for free on your phone or your tablet or your computer any computer or if you're on a Chromebook this is a good one if you're on a Chromebook you can use discord on a Chromebook um, through the browser so discord is probably the best option the only problem with discord is that it doesn't do picture um, I talked to a couple of friends of mine who do online learning normally one here at FAU and then one back at my at my undergraduate at Utah Valley and they both say they never do live streaming they and so that's interesting um, what they do is they require um, emails or surveys just like I did um, on a regular basis so that there's constant communication and then they are 
really hardcore when it comes to due times, due dates. You have to turn things on in on time. Which turns out is even harder for the online learning folks than it is for in you know people who are doing face-to-face learning. Um, and the reason being, people who normally do online are incredibly busy people. They're not traditional students like you and I are. They are, well, you guys are. Um, so, yeah. So we probably, we might not ever do a live stream. So I don't want anybody to panic about that. But that does mean, how does attendance figure in? And I'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so questions. The first one is really simple. It says, nothing yet, thank you. But I might have some questions in the future about class and navigation, but all good now. So this comes down to how can you guys ask me questions on a regular basis? And other people have concerns about this too, but they can't ask those, that question a little differently. So of course there's email. Um, now I know a lot of you guys are like, well, Aaron, you suck at email. Fair enough. I mean, that's absolutely true. Navigation, of course, is the really interesting one question you ask. Navigation is going to be handled mostly on Canvas. And if you guys don't know this by now, I do almost all of my navigation in class um, through the um, the front, the homepage on Can on our page, you know. So where it has everything listed, I do almost all my planning through there. Um, there are lots of other ways to do it, but all of my navigation I go through. So if you go down to where it shows the links for Monday, you will see that there are three things already posted. So you could already go through and start working on those three things. And I'll be posting the links to the other launch pads and other assignments as we go. Okay. So that's one thing on navigation. The other thing is about questions. Um, so the little survey we asked is, we have is actually going to be how we do roll and how we do questions. And the way we ask is like, so I'll ask three or four little questions um, in the survey. And then you guys have to answer that question, those questions before class starts, the normal class time starts. So basically, you know, yeah. And then there will be assignments that are due during normal class time. Like there's a discussion group thing going on right now on Canvas that only one person has responded to so far, but that has to be done by the end of class period on Monday. And then I'll have another one of those kind of things also um, to be done during that time as well. So basically I have to keep you guys working and writing and being active and studying. So it'll be interesting. Um, so the next question is, I don't have any major concerns yet, just that I don't have my books with me. So the books one's a really good one. Um, because we're now going to be looking back at Aurora and Coates, Cohen and Das. You guys are going to need to have access to those articles. Now, Cohen and Das are already uploaded to Canvas. So I'm going to make sure and get Coats uploaded to Canvas. And then I'm going to make sure and get Aurora uploaded to Canvas. Okay. Um, and that's I'm going to do the same thing with whatever we have to do with Elements. I'm going to make sure that that's uploaded into Canvas. And But regarding the little pocket handbook, gosh, um... You have access to the, most of the questions that you could find there in the Owl, uh, Purdue OWL. Supposedly, they're updating everything to the current version of MLA. Uh, honestly, yeah, it's something we're, we'll have to approach. I mean, I have access to the silly book. I mean, I always have it with me. So, I mean, like I've told you guys, in my opinion, that's the most important book that we have and um, I know some of you guys never touch it, which I can tell because you're, uh, you know, the, M the MLA portion that you do on your paper or the uh, works cited pages that you're doing or the in-text citations that you're doing are just all sorts of screwed up. And to me, that says either you're not listening to me in class or you're not bothering to look it up in the little pocket handbook thing. 
because the little pocket handbook thing has all the answers and if you, you know, whatever. All right, so are essay dates going to be kept the same? Yes, essay dates are not going to change. In fact, the final is the final is the final is the final. That's not going to change at all. That also includes the peer review date. So the peer review date is um, the 30th, I believe. I'll double check. I don't have that in front of me because I'm driving. But the peer review date is on the 30th. If the school schedule goes the way they want, we'll all be back in class on the 30th and we'll just do our peer reviews on the 30th. Will this class require a webcam? No. Um, well, maybe, but I don't think so. If we do do anything, it'll be through Discord and I'll, I'll set that up. How will this affect the course's schedule? It's not. We're going to keep on our schedule. We're going to keep working. Assignments will go on as they have been going on. Uh, somebody said, no concerns, stay clean. Thank you very much. Like I I just used that Purell after I went into 7-Eleven and I've been wiping down surfaces, so doing all the good stuff. How will attendance be handled? We have a number of attendance questions. So how will attendance be handled? So if you turn it, so like this survey, the due date on this survey is before class time on Monday. If you have not turned in this survey by the beginning of class time on Monday, then I will count you as late or absent. It's just that simple. Okay. Um, and then there is the discussion that has to be held. During that discussion group assignment, if you get it done ahead of time, like if you do it right now while you're watching this video, go and do the assignment, then you're accounted as present. I mean, how cool is that? But if you don't, you know, if you, whatever, then I'll, you know, that's a, that's a, that's a late. All right. The next one, will I have to be available for live streams such and such during regular class times? If I have a live stream or if I, because I, we could do a YouTube live stream too. Um, it would be through my phone. Actually it works really good through phones. Um, I could do it through my phone or we could, um, like I said, do a discord. If we do that, yes, you are required to be there. Uh, during regular class time. It'll only be held during regular class time. It won't be held, you know, at non-regular times. Um, do I have to be sitting in front of my computer during regular class time? Uh, up to you. Um, if I'm doing a live stream, crap, you could be at the beach, at the swimming pool, um, at the Walmart or McDonald's, someplace with good Wi-Fi. And if you guys don't have good Wi-Fi at home, go to a public library or go to a McDonald's. Um, for quite a while during my undergraduate, for like a year and a half, I didn't have any computer uh, internet access at home. So I was doing all of my homework or work with Wi-Fi either um, at my regular job or in Walmart or in McDonald's or at a public at the public library. Um, I left all my textbooks in my dorm room and they don't really have a solid place at home with my I only have my computer. Um, I think you'll be fine with just your computer. Wi-Fi is having access to the uh, to Canvas is going to be your key thing. So if you have access to Canvas, you're really good. All right. I'm just concerned about us not being able to ask questions and doing bad on an assignment because you couldn't ask the questions you were concerned about. Okay. So that's where these little surveys come in handy. So if you notice, there were four questions that I asked in the survey, and then there were uh, there's a space, an open space for you to ask questions in the survey. So when I ask, so when I post the two assignments for Wednesday, um, I'm gonna probably I'm probably gonna write those up and post them today. Today Saturday, as I mentioned before, I'll post those two assignments. One of them is going to change for sure, though. It's not going to stay the same. Um, then I will also, I will have a survey ready, which I will post on Monday during class time. You can then, you know, take a look at that survey, look at the assignments. If you have questions about the assignment, ask me the questions during the survey. Um, and I'll try to do one of these little Q&A videos again, 
though not as long as this one. This one's gotten m massive. I mean, we're driving all over Kingdom Cup. And then, uh, um, blah, blah, blah. Will live streams have attendance like regular class time? Yes. And will assignments on Canvas be the same as usual? Yes. And my main question is, how do we do peer reviews? Um, for uh, how My main question is how peer reviews will be done on SA4. So if class is working normally, that's the last question, by the way. If class is working normally like it should on on Monday, on uh, Monday the 30th, then we'll do peer review on Monday the 30th in class, just like we normally do. You will bring your rough draft with you. You will um, do the same stuff we normally do on peer reviews in class. Now, regarding peer review, I know some of you don't like doing peer reviews because some of you, for whatever reason, think peer reviews are stupid. And that's fine, I, I get that. Um, I'm sorry, the research is out there and you're wrong. Peer reviews are incredibly handy, um, massively handy. So it's something that grow up. This is the real world. This is how reality is. Peer reviewing is the way it goes. Not just here at school, but in when you're in the professional world. It's just if you if you have someone you can trust to help you with a peer review, that's what you do. All right, that's it. Thank you so much. Um, I will turn around and go to the Walmart and get my soda pop, post this video, and you guys have a good weekend, finish off your spring break strong, 